What's going on, everybody? Before we get started with this week's episode, I just wanted to thank everyone for the the huge outpouring of support. Uh, When I started this project earlier this year, I had no idea that, uh, you know, it'd have such uh, interest. This past week, I passed 500 subscribers, and it really means a lot to me. Uh, I appreciate all the comments, the subscribers, uh, the likes, the shares, everything. It's, you know, it really helps me to stay motivated past my own goal of just trying to learn the software and get better at my design skills. So, Having said all that, if you know if you are watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It's a really great community, and I, I once again I want to thank everyone who has showed support at, at, up to this point. So, anyway, here we go with this week's episode. My name's Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here, it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. Alright, so this week, um, taking a a sidestep away from the Gorilla Guide to X-Particles, honestly, I had some client work this week and it it really took up a lot of time, so uh, what I did instead was just kind of explore the two techniques that I looked at the past two weeks with the advanced rain and the advanced snow to kind of set up my own precipitation and play around with that. So uh, you can see kind of uh, dealing with colliders and stuff here that I I played around and, and learned last week. Um, and I was trying different emission types. So in this case, I was playing with a pulse emission, and it was kind of, kind of like doof, 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 like chunking out different, um, uh, different like shots of, of particles. Uh, what I wanted to do is create this look that I think is really popular. You see it a lot on Instagram. It's this like, this like sticky, uh, gooey kind of. Um, rubbery like material that that just kind of sticks to whatever it's colliding with um, I was just coming up with something here just trying to figure out something cool to collide with I actually went into last week's project and just stole the skull model from there um, I had to play around with the camera a little bit because I did remove a lot of polygons um, to, to lighten the scene last week and I was trying to get a, an int- a different uh, composition um, so I actually played around with the banking on the camera and stuff like that to get this symmetrical kind of look um, uh, because I didn't have a lot of flexibility with rotating the actual skull because the bottom of it um, had polygons to lead it off of it. So I started to figure out uh, the nature of this this uh, emission and I, you can see here I was, it was kind of raining down on the skull and just kind of passing over it and stuff like that. I didn't like how in the, you can see in the renderer in the lower left hand side of it there's almost like a flat uniform edge um, to the particles and I really didn't like how that was coming off so I was trying to figure out how to do this. I did a little research and realized that what I was looking for was um, the under the um, X particles dynamics um, is the constraints and I had to turn viscosity on to make it more of like a sludgy material and that's really where I started to find success in it and it was just these like chunks of like I said this like goo and like paint so what I did to, to disperse the emission around is I actually uh, parented the emission uh, the emitter to a null object and I rotated the null object um, with the emitter offset a little bit so it kind of you got this kind of swirl pattern as it was dropping down um, I think this look would be a lot cooler with um, maybe uh, faster emission types or a, a faster emission pulse um, with with fewer particles in each pulse because I think this is a little too chunky. Um, I was using the op- uh, the octane object tag and using spheres and cubes to get like that chunky material and I think that and I uh, used a dirt shader on the actual octane material to get a little bit of variation in the color and I, I'm actually happy with how the material came out. It's just the emission um, itself. It, I think it was a little too uniform and splatty but um and then just the composition overall was just like the i i was sampling and referencing some black on black with this these like yellow particles and um i I just think i lost a lot of detail with the skull on the background in this case so uh either way here's here's the render the uh the comp that you just saw was pretty straightforward um i put a directional blur layer on this to just kind of add some sort of interest because i uh i'm not totally in love with that but like I, I do like so you can see how when those kind of plop they kind of they kind of like slap 
right up, play, like, like slap, like right down on the skull. And they have like a little bounce, and then they just kind of stick and settle right into place. So, um, the as far as the collision and the dynamics, I, I do like how that came out, but I think the the pulse and the shot of those emissions is a, a little too uniform. And then just the, like I said, the overall lighting and composition of it. I think the lighting's interesting. I think the material on the skull could be a lot better, and definitely this whole left side of the frame where you just kind of lose everything. Um, I like the the reflective floor. Um, it just makes me kind of wish I had emitted all over the place a little more so you can get, kind of get a little bit more um, visual information in that reflection because I think otherwise it just kind of looks like a black diffuse material and you kind of lose everything. So that's all for this week's episode. Uh, you know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. You can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thank you again so much for joining me and watching this week. Uh, and like I said at the top of the episode, I really appreciate the, the huge outpouring of support. Uh, if you've made it this far, please consider subscribing. And uh, more than anything, I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.